Yeah, please listen to me. Please listen. Cause y'all like to listen to me and anyway. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Sugar Asia and today I'm spilling all the tea on how to come correct on a first date so you can be treated like a princess like this is our soft girl era this is our princess treatment era and i don't want to leave my girls behind so i'm here to give y'all the tea on what i've learned in my days and y'all i'm telling y'all i've had men come to my job with chocolates men come to my job with flowers my favorite food men buy me bags <laughs> me shoes like it's not all about like money but it's just being courted and being treated like you deserve okay so if you want to know the tea just keep watching okay i want the ladies to know that you set the tone in any and everything that you do not only relationships but at your job um in your friendships you set the tone okay especially with a man and you've come to the right place okay first tip i have i have five tips for a first date this is controversial okay i feel like your first date should be at a nice restaurant i'm sorry but i feel like a nice restaurant you can really sit down and get to know a person get to pick his brain get to see how he's coming in behind you honestly a lot of people think that first dates at a restaurant are too it's too much pressure girl put on your big girl panties and be a woman okay why are you nervous like you get to know so much about him you get to see how he eats first of all you get to see if he has manners etiquette um see what type of drink he orders like you just honestly just sit back and observe like everything about this man like, you're, you're sitting face to face and you're having a conversation i want y'all to not be afraid of conversation and actually getting to know somebody okay and also with going to a restaurant you're gonna have a conversation about food and like that's getting to know a person like what kind of food do you like it, it's the small things okay for me you yeah, know i've been pescatarian for two years period and of course the conversation always comes up on dates like oh i probably get the fish you know i've been pescatarian for x amount of years blah blah and that could start a whole nother conversation so first dates it's just y'all getting to know each other I want y'all to be comfortable with getting to know each other face to face on a more intimate level. Okay girls, second tip. When you are at this nice restaurant, I want you to wear a dress and I want you to wear heels. No if, ands, or buts about it. I don't care. I don't care if you can't walk in heels, you better practice. I don't care if you don't own a nice dress, you better get one Amazon Fashion Nova, Shein, girl, look nice feminine and put together this is why some of y'all don't be in y'all soft girl errors because y'all don't look like a soft girl i want y'all to dress like you expect the best because you do and you deserve the best so i want you to look like that on the outside if you want to get the best show up the best okay personally i don't think first date should be casual because i feel like ever since I started dating and setting the tone. I always love restaurants as a first date and those men have treated me completely differently than the men who were, oh, let's go grab something at like a quick and grab place or a bar. Like those men are not gonna treat you like the men who are going to take you out to a restaurant and allow you to dress up and look nice and be treated. Do you wanna be treated or do you wanna be treated like for all my Kansas City girls out there watching, it's a store here called Viva Fashion. Girl, you can find you a date outfit at Viva Fashion for probably under $50. Dress and heels. I'm telling y'all, like, it's, it's the outfit. You just have to find it, okay? Are y'all still with me? Don't be mad at me. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to spit game, okay? The next tip I have is setting the tone, getting that princess treatment. Smell good y'all there is nothing more attractive than a woman who smells amazing y'all i have had people when i walk by they cock oh my god what do you have on men and women do that like of course women to like be put on game and like men to be like 
okay i see you that's a nice smell that you have y'all invest in you a good perfume i know listen all of us are on a budget okay because i am too but they have travel size perfume and you can go into sephora into ulta into like the perfume store girl smell all of the perfume write down and jot down your favorite ones see if they have the travel size on sephora.com or ulta.com ulta and sephora i'm pretty sure they have afterpay or like klarna or like payment plans so you'll get the smallest size and you can also have like payment plans on it y'all I got y'all there's always a way around something if you can invest in you a full-size perfume do that or if you want it to be like a gift child like definitely smell good especially on a first date y'all everything works together your face your hair your outfit your shoes and the way you smell it all works together to make a great first impression to set that tone okay all right ladies the next thing i want y'all to do uh this is gonna be hard for some of y'all the next tip is to make eye contact with that man <laughs> i don't care if he's the finest man on the planet i don't care if he's an nfl player um major league baseball player um if he's the finest man alive i'm gonna need you to be confident and look that man into his eyes okay make sure you make eye contact because that signifies that you're confident and you're not scared or timid or lame like who wants a girl that's like oh it's a nice place yeah yeah oh what i like to do um i like to like go shopping go to brunch da, da, da. no make eye contact you look confident you look beautiful uh girl eye contact and smile oh really thank you so much like girl a smile can go a long way make eye contact you'll be fine y'all this next tip for your first date y'all please just listen to what i'm saying okay don't talk about your ex or don't talk about your ex in a negative way i don't care if that man dogged you out drug you through the mud had a baby on you i don't care what happened i don't want you talking about him first of all but if the conversation of exes comes up which don't talk negatively about your ex because most guys will take what you've been through and try to use it and manipulate the situation i'm telling y'all how men think like how some men think how childish men think there are plenty of other things to talk about other than your ex you can talk about the food that you like you can talk about what food you grew up loving we will talk about traveling. I love talking about traveling on first dates. Um, talk about your next trip. What's the best trip that you've been on? What's your favorite trip? Or what do you plan on going? Let's say this year, next year, have you ever been out the country? There's so many conversation starters other than, so why did your ex leave you or what happened? First of all, my recent like ex situations, it hasn't even been that bad. So just like, oh, even if he drug you through the mud, I want you to say, oh, like, things just didn't work out. Like, we mutually agreed to just go our separate ways. Still a nice guy. She just, we weren't right for each other. Leave it at that. I bet he won't ask nothing else. Girl, don't say, well, I actually got cheated on. And, um, yeah, he had a baby on me. And he stole my car. And he messed with my best friend. Like, He's gonna look at you and think, wow, he did all that to you. What can I do to you next? Y'all, it's, it's crazy people out in this world and I want y'all to listen to me because it happened to me <laughs> many moons ago, okay? Many moons ago, I was comfortable with telling somebody what I went through and he did the exact same thing. That was before I got all this game, child. Of course, like, if down the road, say, y'all wanna have a more serious conversation about the things, you can say, oh, like, he was nice, but he did X, Y, and Z to me. This is when y'all are deeper. Just don't say it on the first date. I feel like it's time and place. First dates are about you and that person, not anybody in between, okay? These tips will allow you to not only set the tone in that situation or relationship, but help you attract a better quality man. Y'all know I have a girl chat that's from Pick Me to the Prize. It'll be linked in the cards right here how to go from being a pick me to the prize. 
listen, I'm a living testimony. By the grace of God, I have been transformed and changed. Okay, a change. No. <laughs> so thank y'all so, so much for watching this video. Again, please listen to my tips. If you won't incorporate all of them, please incorporate a couple of them and see how your dating life changes, okay? Come back to me and say, wow, Asia, that video about setting the tone in a relationship or in a situation and what to do on the first date, this man is um, giving me princess treatment, he's giving me flowers, he's there for me emotionally, he's uh, surprising me with gifts, like girl. All that will happen to you. I promise you, okay? I love y'all so, so much. And until next time, I'll see y'all later, okay? Bye, y'all. <laughs>